Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you how the data from a flat file source like I have a input folder data like these two source files that uh, CSC and EIE student details table uh, details data that data is transferred into my SQL server in the to the table student details table in which I don't have any data. So after that uh, transferring this data, I am going to send those flat files from the input folder to the output folder with the rename with the date time also. So at what time the data is transferred into my SQL server and the details will be uh, renamed in here. So and it is sent into my out to my output folder. So for that first I am going to create a new SSIS package new SSIS package and now I am going to create a new variables to save my input uh, path input folder path and it is of data type string and the value will be my input folder path control V and then uh, another one will be output folder path and it is of stripe string and this data the path okay for then and then then for each uh, for each file it has to iterate so i'm going to give an for each loop container and then here the collection will be of a uh, we have a collection of file enumerator expression will be our property type will be directory expression here what expression will be input folder path so evaluate expression so it has it will go for each iteration it will go to that particular uh, folder and here and it has it has to take my txt files only so and this and 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 it has to take retrieve file names only name and extension which we have and this variable every time it has to save in a particular variable so i'm going to create a variable like file name so every time it will uh, and it will take that file name as its variable it will store there in the uh, uh, file name okay it will store there so okay and for each loop container and then next thing is what we are going to do is our data flow task how the data flow will be done and then double click over data flow source our source is a flat file source connection and new source one where we have to go students csc and columns we will check the uh, data so okay retain null values then this flat file so our destination is our OLE DB destination so I'm going to connect here new connection I'm going to already I have I'm going to create a new da database and here connect so I'm going to take my server name over here server name Mine is an SQL server authentication, so I am going to give user ID and password and enter database is the student warehouse. Okay, okay. Here table in which table it has to go and is a student table. Okay, here I am going to map this student name, student branch, student ID then okay so then here is a control flow is got so if you want to check first the data is transferred or not we'll check see all the data is transferred now we can come over here and if you want to select see the data is transferred so the next thing is what i'm going to do okay this flat file connection manager is there right so flat file connection properties here if you go to expression for each iteration connection string input folder path plus file name so evaluate now it doesn't have any file names who are not getting any file name so okay okay expression 
next thing is the data here I'm going to delete the data execute now I'm going to execute again see all the data now what happened is now if I select this see in this before I, do, I got only the CSE branch now I got EIA branch Me means here what I have done in loop iteration what I have done is properties I have changed my expressions like input variable plus where for each iteration it will go there so uh, for that process I have changed that flat file connection manager here I have right click on this and this properties for in this expression I have given the evaluated the uh, like input folder plus file name and everything that I have given connection string so the data that how many files it is there it is going to iterate and then next thing is it has to transfer this data into this uh, particular folder like output folder so for that I am going to type like I'm going uh, I'm going to take like a file system task and how it's going to give and before that I'm going to create another two variables like for what is what is like like input folder full path should be given and that that is of a type string and the expression will be input folder path plus double click and then plus uh, file name so now we don't have any let me give like test.txt I'm going to give the file name as test.txt if you go now see this is a while now if we select this is test.txt file name has been got so that is how this file name we got and the other variable is like a where it has to go and store that is output output folder full path and it is of type string and this expression will be now what I am going to give in output folder path plus slash plus file name okay this is the output folder path but here what we want to get is date time also and along with txt right now i don't want this txt so i'm going to replace that replace that one comma dot txt comma with the blank place so now if i execute ctxt file is gone and then what i want to get underscore after test i want to get underscore plus i want to get get date so if i evaluate this expression we'll get as a string compare uh, so compatibility is not so i'm going to convert this into this string like dtstr dt underscore str dt str comma 50 comma 1 2 5 2 1 2 5 2 okay so here we got uh, that uh, get date is converted into a string but what here I am to get I doesn't want all these uh, strings so I am going to substring that one so I am going to substring substring of this comma 1 comma 19 so here if you see we can substring it next what I am going to I don't want uh, uh, this one like I fence and and also I am going to replace uh, what, uh, what it is that hyphens with empty spaces so see this uh, hyphens has been gone so and again what I want to I don't want this 
column. So I'm going to replace replace that with comma columns with um, columns with empty spaces. So now see this is the this is what we'll get at that one. So and again plus last what we have to get dot txt so this is how our file will be with the name date and text so that will be my output full folder path expression so and this now i am going to go with the file operator says our source connection is is your path variable yes ours is a path variable source variable is input what is our source variable input full folder path and our its operation will be our what operation I are going to rename that particular file and then here a destination path variable we are providing yes and destination variable will be full out output folder full path so this is how this our expressions will be so okay so if you want to see now I'm going to delete all the data all the data I am going to delete it, delete this and this is the output now I am going to execute so all the data is uh, executed now first what we are going to see here select the data so all the data is transferred here and then the our what we have to see input folder it's not there and uh, the output will be in our output folder see this output folder with the date time also thus all the flat file is converted and it is stored over here with the date time of that particular uh, one this is how the uh, data flat file is converted into a into the SQL server and that flat file is again uh, transferred into an another folder with the particular date time also extension with that thank you thank you for listening if you like my video please subscribe and share my video thank you